children, welcome back to Mary Muppet's Guild, fun and exciting STEAM learning lab. Today, we are going to learn about earthquakes and how we measure them with the help of seismograph. And for this experiment, we need a shoebox, a sketch pen, pencil, scissors, cutter, twine, cello tape, plastic cup and a long piece of paper. I have pasted two pieces of paper to get this length. Now we are going to open up the shoe box and with the help of the cutter, I am going to cut open the lid part of the shoe box. And now we are going to suspend this paper cup with the help of the twine and we are going to place it here and tie the twine on the box. So let's do this by making a hole to tie the twine here. Now tie the uh, cup with the twine now let's go to the next step we are going to make two holes on top of this shoe box so that we can suspend this paper cup from here Now if you see carefully, I have tied this paper cup onto the top of the box. Now we have to put a hole in the middle of the cup so that we can slip in this pen inside the cup. Now to make this cup steady, let's add in some weight. I have added some pebbles inside uh, this paper cup. You can add sand or even coins so that it adds upon some weight to the paper cup. Now we are going to slip in this long paper alongside of this shoe box so that our readings are getting recorded in this paper. So I'm going to make two slits alongside along this shoe box. Make sure both the sides are on the same level so that the paper slips along the shoe box. you can see I have made two slits in the width according to this paper now I'm going to let's take this out Now we are going to put the pen inside. Now our 
seismograph model is ready at home. Now shall we start recording the earthquake? Now I'm going to make artificial tremors and record the seismic waves. Our earth is not made up of single piece of land. It actually looks like a puzzle which constantly moves. We don't feel it though as the moment is very slow. These pieces are called tectonic plates. When they slide or bump into each other, the earthquake is formed. The surface where these tectonic plates slip in is called fault plane. The plane where it originates is called hypocenter. Let's consider these as tectonic plates and when they bump and slide into each other this place is called fault plane and somewhere beneath the earth these you know, uh, planes where they originate are called hypocenter. And the place on the surface of the earth where we, um, where, where this earth's earthquake occurs is called epicenter. The study of earthquakes and their magnitude is called seismology. We have made a seismograph using this shoe box, a twine, a paper cup. This is a model of seismograph. This seismograph is used to measure the movement of earth and earthquakes. And we record when, when earthquake happens, the pen which we have, you know, uh, inserted inside the paper cup, it is, this my seismograph looks like this. So, it records the seismic waves in this seismogram. And the magnitude of the earthquake is recorded in this seismogram and they study, this study is called seismology. So have fun at home recording the earthquake. Our seismogram is ready and we have made a seismograph at home. Do, please do this experiment at home and have fun. Bye children.